During a recent visit to California, I was lucky enough to bump into Alex Ross from Sharkworks. I was keen to find out if he had any tips for getting into business. So right now, um, I uh, customize, build, uh, break, enhance, um, poke around with Porsches, modern Porsches. I did economics uh, and geography at uh, London School of Economics and out of that um, I became a journalist writing about computer games and computer hardware. I moved to the US in 98. That company got sold during the dot-com era and uh, then I started buying Porsches and other cars to modify because there's a really big culture here for you know, pushing limits of cars, making them go faster than they should, you know, just drag racing, you know, things like that. So my very, very first car was a Jaguar XKR convertible. And then I quickly realized a convertible, you know, 400 something horsepower, close to 400 horsepower supercharged car did not go around turns very well. As soon as I drove a 996 turbo, I realized, wow, you know, <laughs> Porsches are built to different standard. I saw it had an AMD flash chip in it, which is a chip you'd have on your motherboard, which is the guts of your PC. And, uh, you know, by communicating with it, you can upload, download information about how the car is going to run, you, know, you can program it essentially. And uh, on a turbo car, you can easily, or relatively easily program it if you know some people with some skills and get about 100 horsepower out of it and take a car that from the factory had 415 horsepower, you know, two hours later you got 500 horsepower. That was, the, that was like a big lightning bolt. Obviously I was naive thinking like, you know, oh, why didn't Porsche do this? Because you start pushing, pushing, and then you break stuff. And then you, then you feel bad and uh, you realize, oh, maybe Porsche knows what they're doing. But uh, like anything else, you, know, you push something and then you break it and then you figure out why. Um, and then you, you know, fix it, re-engineer it, um, give it better cooling, you know, give it better, you know, um, you know, just build it stronger, whatever it needs to hold that horsepower. I quickly realized too that you know, once you get that whole speed thing out um, and the horsepower, you, you need to have it sort of be balanced with handling. And by doing this drag racing stuff and, and playing with these cars, you, you attract you know, like-minded, weird people that ask questions. And, you know, I'm lucky I get to work with really smart people and they help me. It went to about 800 horsepower, um, which at the time was pretty, pretty big. It had the uh, quarter mile record for the 996 Turbo. You know, that car got sold to an older gentleman in uh, the Bay Area, and he just drives it and loves it. It was a hobby. I retired after selling that website for a couple of years. I was a journalist. I wrote for magazines still. But um, you know, I turned my hobby into a business because I was doing that all day long anyway. And I figured if I'm going to spend tons of money on it, and I can probably help some people do the same thing. One of the first questions like Jay Leno asked me, which got edited, was, what's your qualifications to do this? And he said, nothing. I'm a firm believer in, if you're interested in something, read about it, learn about it, you know, play with it, try it. You know, don't, don't just take someone else's word for how it is, figure it out yourself. For example, if you're into cars, there's lots of car shows you can go to, you can meet people. The biggest challenge is to try and uh, not go too far with something and break, you know, break it beyond repair because um, it gets expensive at a certain level. <laughs> um, and you can do, you break something beyond repair. I've done that before. I've always had a philosophy of doing things to my own cars first um, because that way you iron everything out. At that point, it's good to go. You can actually say to a customer, okay, this is what I did. This is the path I took with my car. This is how I recommend you do it to yours. I think taking the GT3, the 907 GT3, which was by all accounts like the most tweaked out perfect car that nobody should touch, and um, in some people's eyes we made it better. Just making people happy, if you, they're already happy with a Porsche generally, and uh, if you just you know, pull at it here, tweak at it there, um, you know, change this, change that, and they have an even bigger smile, I mean it actually feels good. I don't believe in taking investment, the businesses that I've started, 
Um, I started three and sold two of them and I'm currently using this one myself. I think you work harder when it's your own money. Start from you know, scratch, from zero, you know, five quid, ten quid, whatever, a hundred quid, you know, a grand, whatever you can get together, I think you work way harder and you appreciate it more than if you go out trying to find investment money. I'm a bit stuck in the mud. I like the era of Porsche that was from you know, 2004 to 2011. Um, but I think that will be a golden era of Porsches in 20 years from now too. The other two founders, one is my wife. She's a video game developer and an entrepreneur as well. Um, she's done you know, movie production, TV. She's done you know, adverts for cars. She's done all kinds of stuff. And then uh, James, who you met earlier, um, He's just an incredibly talented, um, hardworking slash uh, persevering. You know, uh, he's not an engineer by trade or by education, but he's built more GT3 engines than probably anyone on the planet. And uh, you know, he only did that by just deep diving in and doing it. And he's just very smart, <laughs> way smarter than me. <laughs> I think someone like Ayrton Senna. I loved watching him race um, as a kid, you know, Formula One. Um, I didn't even know all the stuff he did with kids and charity at the time because there was no Twitter or Facebook. He sort of uh, pushed against the norm and uh, he was different, took it to the next level. Um, and, uh, just brilliant, like absolute best at what he did ever. I'm glad that I stopped doing that. I have friends and um, business partners in the industry that I work with that um, are currently making turbos with 1,500, 1,600 horsepower. You know, doing things like 215 miles an hour in a half mile, and they have parachutes on the back of their cars. So no, I don't regret selling them. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm happy with GT3s instead of the crazy turbos. The hardback version of James Hunt's uh, biography, which was uh, very, very funny indeed. Just that he was real and different and uh, warts and all, he, he still you know, he won a championship. Um, he didn't have to do it any way other than his way. That was great.